on Nationwide this evening, bringing art from flat canvases to a three-dimensional form, we meet the Tipperary man whose art jumps from the frame. Also, in Dublin, we meet people who are bringing a little magic into our lives with new and old tricks designed to entertain and inspire. You're very welcome to the programme. Well, this evening we have fun, entertainment and magic on the menu. And we begin with magic on the streets of Dublin. Now, over the last number of years, the number of Irish people who have been trying their hand at magic has increased. And recently we asked former Rose of Tralee, Maria Walsh, to meet and assist some of the magicians who have been performing on the streets of Dublin. And here's how she got on. magicians hit Grafton Street in Dublin to show off the diverse range of the dramatic art form and to mark a very important anniversary in the world of magic. Let's take a look through this magical world of performance. I've been a professional magician now for 30 years and I really enjoy what I do. It's a wonderful art form because it can encompass all age groups, yes. you know, there's no barriers with, with magic. That's what I really love to do, and I love illusions, a bit like this one here. Well, tell me about this, because we're celebrating an anniversary, correct? We are indeed, yes. yes. It's 50 years since a man called Robert Harbin invented this wonderful illusion. For years, magicians were sawing women in half, and uh, he decided, I wanted to go one better, and I want to saw a woman in three. You're going to show us this with uh, your assistant? That's right, with Ashling. Ladies and gentlemen, to welcome the lovely Ashling. Ashling, come this way. Lovely. Now, when I close this bottom door, you will see that Ashley will pop her foot out to the bottom. Would you just take her gently by the foot? Sorry, <laughs> I'm going to close the middle door here, and then she will place her hand out through here. Would you just feel and make sure yes. it's a real hand? Yep. There's a little trap door here. Do you want to give her a tickle or tummy? Go on, tickle her. No, you won't. Okay. Then we close the top door, and she put her hand out through here, and then your face. Now, I'm going to ask you to swap places with me. Clearly the worst assistant when I didn't even know where to stand. It's quite all right. Now, if I try and remove the centre of this box, you will notice that Ashley's hand gets in the way, so we can't go any further. So could you take your hand in, please? Now when I try and move it a bit further, her backbone gets in the way, or breakfast, one or the other. So the only way to solve this, of course, oh, no. is with these two solid blades. Here we go. One. You're really aggressive with those there, Pat. Two. She never felt a thing. I will now remove the centre of the box, but I will need you to help. Okay. I need you to put your hands just here. Are we ready? One, two, three, push. <laughs> Would you just wave your hand through the middle there, just to show that there is nothing in there? There's absolutely nothing. <laughs> Ashley will take a little hand. She has a hold of a handkerchief. Look at the, the knives. I can tickle her tummy as well. Would you like to take your hand in, Ashley? I will now put you back to normal, which is quite difficult because she's never been normal. <laughs> so are we ready, dear? OK, here we go. Back to normal, just like this. I'll pull out the bottom blade, pull out the top blade. Your hand will come back out to the little hole here, complete with my handkerchief. And there you go. If you take in your hands and feet, I will open the doors and ladies and gentlemen, would you please show wow. your appreciation for the very beautiful and the lovely Ashling. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the greatest misconception of magic is people think it's all camera tricks. I only do what I can do live, I won't do anything else. It was awesome, that was amazing. <laughs> you can learn the fundamentals in a reasonably short time, but like a musician, it takes years to get it perfected and to get the timing right on it and to make it work. Anybody can do a magic trick, but to make it into a performance, that's the thing that's a little bit more difficult. We've gathered a little bit of an audience. We have indeed, yeah. You're going to show me a trick. We need a gentleman. Can we have a, a gentleman from the audience? Ladies and gentlemen, can we get a bit of a round of applause? You are? Rob Casey. Rob Casey, okay, wonderful. Rob. Hi, Rob. How are you? How are you doing? Maria, <laughs> this thing here, you'll see it's a solid blade, goes into the carrying case. If I can get both my hands to shake together at the same time, you'll see it goes in there. And of course, obviously anything that gets in the holes 
could be slightly I'm not dead. really liking the way this is going now, no. Pat. Rob, could you stand on my left here for a moment, please? Because what I need you to do is, uh, first of all, would you... Oh, very good. Yeah, very excited. Would you take that with your left hand, Rob? Very good, yeah. Now, I just hang on to this for a moment and put the clips up there. They are the safety devices, okay? No problem. Now, you have a spare hand. Would you just pop it in through there for me? And uh, Marie, would you do no. the same? <laughs> I will help you, so just in case you're worried. Okay, yeah, it just, it just goes in there. Very good. I want to make sure that if anything goes wrong, that um, these hands will not go rolling all around Grafton Street. <laughs> now, everything is fine as long as I don't take away these two no, clips. No, we won't be taking those away. And if I take away <laughs> those two <laughs> clips. Okay. Are you fairly attached to that hand? So, are you okay? Now, I'm hanging on to here, just no problem. Okay. Now, I can do this one of two ways. We can do it very fast or we can do it very slow. Which would you prefer? <laughs> what I would do is I count to three. I'll go one, two, three. Well, I always do it on two. Okay, yeah. Right. See, I never, I never give you the opportunity to worry about it. Okay. Oh, thank you. Now, did you I'm just going to take off the top bit here. And I ask you to let go of the handle, if you don't mind, please. And yeah. I will take it down there. Because you will now see that the main thing about this is oh. that how it's actually gone straight through your arms all the way like that without feeling the pain but that's the magic of it all ladies and gentlemen could we have a big round of applause for our two lovely volunteers <laughs> Really, I, I see myself as an entertainer, okay. uh, and I just use magic to entertain people because it's not about the tricks. If you imagine a table of 12 or 13 people at a, at a wedding or a corporate event, and they all have that reaction, mm -hmm. it creates the atmosphere. So that's really what magic's about. Can I see a trick? Of course, I would be delighted. A card? Pick a card, any one. Don't let me influence you. No money, Jack. <laughs> really, really, really. <laughs> Take any one at all. Um, okay. Now, and have a look at it. You can show the camera as well. It doesn't really matter if I know what it is. And to make sure it's definitely unique, I'm going to get you to sign the card. Give me okay. your autograph. I'll put it on eBay later on. We'll see what we get for it. Perfect. And uh, I'll grab the card. I just need to make sure I I shall try to tell you the name of it. They're not marked, by the way, on the okay. back there. <laughs> Here's the real trick. Here's the real trick. Your four of hearts, Maria, yeah. goes somewhere into the center of the deck. Even though it's in the middle, there's a little button on the top, and when we press it, it comes all the way back up again. This time, you can tell me where to stick it. Be polite, we're on television. <laughs> Say stop whenever you like. Stop. That's exactly where you said, yeah? Yeah. This time, we're going to make it come to the top. Press the little button yourself this time, and it comes right the way back up again. <laughs> now, the funny thing is, I had a feeling you were going to pick the four of hearts. I'm going to lose it for real in the center of the okay. deck. Earlier on, I made a prediction, and I put a card into an envelope and Look sealed it up. sleeves, by the way. As an honest <laughs> yeah, I, I usually roll my sleeves up so you know I'm not cheating, even though I am, of course. <laughs> uh, I do have one uh, envelope in here sealed. We shall swap. Check the envelope is sealed. Dan, verify for the viewers yes, at home. It really is sealed. Open it up and take out what I'm hoping is going to be the four of hearts, which would be a pretty neat trick. A miracle if it wasn't just any four of hearts, but your four of hearts. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, here's the best part. If you watch closely, these tricks become see-through. Watch. See-through. <laughs> That's why it's not just for kids. That is so amazing. Thank you. Am I allowed to ask how? You can ask. I can't no, tell. Be <laughs> it, to be honest, it's it's more fun if you don't know. The secret is never as fun as the um, the actual yeah, effect. Yeah, that's you know? true. You're not your average magician. That's right, right? yeah. I kind of specialize in a, in a very niche area it's called pickpocket magic. I'm a pickpocket, so you're not, you don't have a prop. You don't have a, a box or a pack of cards or anything with you. You're using the person's own stuff and pure misdirection. But so how it's do you like practice this? Do you go out on like a Friday, Saturday night and just like, are <laughs> yeah, your, yeah. your pickpocket? Well, I practice things? a bit with this, you know, I practice a bit with this. <laughs> First off, I mean, when you're a magician and pickpocket, would you would you pay for stuff? You know what I mean? This is my favorite trick in the whole world. Red Why ball, is this? red ball-y trick. You'll see what this is. This is great. Hold out two hands first, yeah. Marie. This is uh, a boy and a girl. They're in love. Oh, oh. can't believe you did that. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze them tight like this, Marie, and yeah. turn your hands over. All I have to do is a little click. That's all it takes. Turn your hands over. Open them up. They changed places, Maria. <laughs> No, you're not Let's believing. The no, they do, magician. they do. No, 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 they do change places. It's just that you have to tell. You have to, to tell. You've got to squeak them. Oh. One of them should be... Can you hear that? Yeah. A little squeak. Can you hear it? Uh -huh. Just in the... Pat. That one doesn't squeak. I have a squeaker in my hand. I'm messing with you. You look very annoyed with the magician now. See, it's my favourite trick now. I... No, there is actually a trick to this. The boy and the girl. Watch close. If yeah. I take the boy, let's say, yeah. and if you take the girl, Hold the girl the same way as I have the boy. Squeeze her tight. Don't let anything in or out. Do you know any magic words, Maria? You're going to wave your other hand over ours. 
I'm going to be really bad. Abra! <laughs> Good Abra. Perfect. The boy doesn't like being away from the girl. Squeeze her tight. Don't let me in or out. Watch this. If we move them apart, if we separate them apart like this, perfect. Actually, put the girl into your other hand. Don't let me get at it. If you give a little click, the boy doesn't like being away from the girl. He disappears. Now, I put the boy here, but I could have cheated. I'm the magician. You put the girl in your own hand. Yeah. Nobody went near it since. Slowly, Maria, turn your hand over. Have a look. Is he in there? <gasps> what? But my hand is over here. Oh, no. I don't even know how it works. <laughs> Oh, good. How are you? So tell me a little bit about this magical world of mentalism. Well, mentalism is another term for magic of the mind. Mm -hmm. And it's probably important to say, Marie, from the outset, I don't claim any special powers as such, but I do claim to have a high level of intuition. Okay, hit, hit, hit me with one of these things now. Entertain me. I don't know if this is going to work, by the way. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I want you to think of a person who's important to you, who's okay. close to you. Now, for the viewers, is there any way I could know this person? No. Okay, and I, I haven't asked you to say anything before or anything like that. No. Okay, so I want you to look at me. I want you to, in your mind, I want you to say this person's name over and over and over again. And what I want you to do now, very slowly in your mind, I want you to start spelling this person's name, letter by letter, starting now. Stop. Did you just stop, or are you about to stop on the letter A? I just stopped. On the letter A? Yes. Okay, good, because you were going a little bit slow and fast, that's good. Okay, so the name, keep saying the name, and this person's actually very important to you. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a male. I'm pretty sure it's a male. But I don't know this person, and this person doesn't know me. So if I was to meet this person, you would say to me, Robert, I'd like you to meet this person who's very important in my life, and his name is... Liam? Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> I was like, there's no way you're going to get this. Well, that's my job. I'm actually a little bit flabbergasted now. So am I. I didn't expect it to because work. Because it, it was a random name, like someone I wouldn't... Wow! It's, it's how, quite peculiar. I want to know how, but obviously that's you, your secret. You, you gave everything away. Your beautiful smile gave it all away. You're such a plot boss. It really did. Give it all away. And when how? I got to I, of course, I had to be lean. What is the difference then from, like... From like, an, what an you do okay. to what, like... A psychic would, because that well, was really psychic driven there. Well, that's a really good I question. Think. I'm a psychic entertainer, mm -hmm. and I think the key emphasis is on entertainment. A psychic will obviously try and tell you your future and try and tell you how you should live your life, which is something I'm totally against. So what I want you to do now for me, I want you to think of a film, mm -hmm. okay? A completely random film. I want you to think of this mm -hmm. film in your mind. And I want you, again, like the, the word Liam, I want you to say this film over and over again in your mind for me. Um, I'm not getting a huge amount. You've seen this film before. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. Um, do you mind? Can I? This is going to allow me to maybe get a, a little bit more where I need to get. Can I? Uh, can I have your wrist? Can I take yeah. your pulse? And I want you to imagine you see the, the film and you're going through all the emotions of that film. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting, Marie, because now your pulse is jumping a little bit. So this will tell me that it's a film that perhaps has a few scares in it. Yes. I want you to imagine all different aspects of the film. And and, and think about the film. Think about some well-known aspect of the film. Were you thinking of something like music or something? Mm -hmm. So it's like it's, it's like a teen tune? Yes. Think of the film, say it over and over again in your mind for me. And you're in the cinema and you're watching this film and it's playing out. Your pulse just jumped again. So this, is this the part where somebody's like getting attacked? Yes. You could have chosen any film at all. <laughs> yes. Are you trying to send to me the film Jaws? Oh my God, no, there's no way you could have known that out of all the films. Well, I want you to know. I want you no, to imagine. No, there's no way you could have known that. I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine that, again, make believe you're going to see this film because it's an old film. So think. I want you to think of a time of the film. So think of the time for me in your mind for me now. Okay. Sure, think of a time for me right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want you to say this time over and over again in your mind for me. Okay. So this time is when the film starts. All right. Yep. So the film's starting at this time. It's very important. Maria, would you like to tell us all? There's no way I could know this time, is there? Yeah, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. It was a random, a random time chosen. Okay, well then, tell me and tell us all. What time are you thinking of? Quarter past seven. Quarter past seven. Um, that's very interesting, because why don't you, once you look at the clock, why don't you imagine you see your time going around and around and around. So in your mind, you need to say stop, How okay? You... In your mind, you need to say stop. Because otherwise, it's just going to keep going around and around and around. In your mind, says stop at quarter past seven. The film is about to start. Still in your mind. In your mind, you're going to say stop. Close enough? 
Yeah, because it wasn't on the quarter past. Wow, so is that the exact time? It wasn't on the quarter. No! Wow, isn't that incredible? Wow. No, there's no... <laughs> How did you get seven? It was very nice to meet you. Oh, my God. Great to meet you. How did you get... No, you have to explain this now. Now, how does he do that? You know, it catches me every time. I can never work out how magicians perform their tricks. And our thanks, indeed, to all the magicians who took part in that piece. After the break, we're going to be meeting an artist from County Tipperary whose three-dimensional work literally jumps off the canvas. We'll see you in a few minutes.